Planes, Games with Jay. Okay, so... So, yeah, we, we stumbled upon... We are back at the conversation where we tell Ace to go away. We didn't know this was new content, so it's in novel mode. But the gist of it is that, uh... Uh, Ace leaves. Junpei goes. Phew. Looking kind of go through. You don't even read the. Yeah, message. yeah. And so because basically, we'll be just re read it. Read, read just the dialogue parts. <laughs> okay, I thought you were like you literally just said not, not, the, not the narration. Well, I was gonna just set up that as like this is a continuation of a conversation that we just did with uh, Junpei and Clover alone about her, you know, the experimentation and right. whatnot. And now she bring now that they're alone again. I guess this follows through with that timeline of like this is the second chance they got to be with just them together. Mm -hmm. And then Clover asks, "Who do you think, um, Junpei?" You know, is the one that killed Snake. So right. but I was saying we can kind of just. Yeah, yeah. What was that about? Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? No, oh, no, no, no. It's not like that. What's it like then? I just wanted to hear the rest of the story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment. Remember the one you started to tell me in the operating room? You had said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood. Okay. You understand, right? I'm just. I keep thinking about my brother, and I, I can't... I mean, who would do something like that to my brother? I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. Maybe you don't kill them with an axe, though. So, so... Um, okay, she's biting her lips really hard. Junpei, who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, there'd have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the door, so you subtract Snake, there were at least two others. Well, we can look at their bracelet numbers and figure it out. Who could have opened? Okay, so now we're trying. It could have been who and who, or who, who and who. Yeah. Technically, that's possible. Keep going. Yeah. Um, but then Clover says that doesn't seem very likely. And she, uh, why? I'll tell you later. Let's assume it's two other people. Okay. okay. Who do you th who do you think it could be? So now, right. We have to decide which two bracelet numbers added to two would give a digital rate root of three. Okay. All right. Uh, so Ace and Santa, that's one and three plus That's six. Two, six. Oh, so, no. Nope. Ace and June, that is one. Nine. No. Oh. Uh, that would be one. No. Uh, that would be, uh, two. No. That would be, uh, Santa, two. Two. That would be... Let's see, three, ten, two, Santa. that would, uh, three. twelve, that would be three. Santa and seven. Okay. Try uh, that. Is that the only one? Probably. Just want to make sure, right? I mean... I mean, but it's it's definitely one of the possibilities. Yeah, three and... Well, I don't want to, like... Does it does, does, does my answer right now determine, like, a path? I don't think so. Try Santa and seven, because that is one of the possible choices. Would it be Santa and seven? The digital root for San Snake Santa and seven is three. Wait, hold on. Are Santa and Seven the killers? What's wrong? Oh, he's just thinking. Well, I thought about it and... That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Um, Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? I really don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. What's this? These are the combinations of for three or four people. These eight combinations are the only possible ones. I see. Junpei? Yeah. I, I can trust you, right? Of course. Why would you need to ask that? Really? Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? Of course. Just cross them out. And you should take off yours, too. The ones with four. So what does that leave? A and E. Okay. So either... Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. You don't know that. Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Okay, then. I can cross off A2, then? Yeah. Well, what have we got left? E. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June will be working together. 
Do you think that's likely? Hmm. If there were four people working together, they wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they tried that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, you do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. If they were the killers, why wouldn't they? I see. Anyway, I understand now. It seems pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. And that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Oh, have I interrupted something? Get out, old man! Oh, Uranus! Oh, sorry! Oh, uh, uh, can we talk? Go ahead. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to check. Yeah, what's that? If you'll excuse me okay, hand, and hand uh, you touch your balls and do, ooh, look here, I got your thing. Can I? Oh, I, can't, I gotta finish this. Okay, pieces of paper. You switched them, you little fucker. Okay, oh, you, know, you yeah. certainly are a little fucker. Uh huh. Damn. Okay, so that one's unlocked now. Yeah. Okay. So now try going to this room. This one right yeah, here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Click it. Yes. Try Captain's Quarters. Ah, uh, they give you which way where to go. So red file. Let's do red file first. Okay. Looks like something's on the cover. All ice. Alice. Mm -hmm. Does this mean? Yep. There we go. The hieroglyphics. Yep. 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 Hieroglyphs. Okay. Now. Can you read them? Of course. I guess there will be a choice at some point. Yeah. That's the. Th it might be something that you know, kind of like with the clover thing. Now that we have. You, Uranus, <laughs> bottom, bottom deck. Ace, please. We died. Seven said something. Okay, here's here it is. Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the force of knowledge between the beneath the navel of the gigantic. Okay. Be beneath the navel is it a navel? I don't I mean know. the bottom navel. deck and the force of knowledge is the library. Then could Alice be in a uh, room somewhere beyond the library? What's wrong? Something on your mind? Um, yeah, I just remembered something. Oh, yeah, so these, a lot of these moments of, like, Jupiter, like, oh, I remember this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to... Don't laugh, okay? <laughs> okay, the Egyptian priestess in Ice Nine. Interesting. And the woman who wouldn't melt, was who was recovered from the Titanic disaster, they called her All Ice, which eventually turned into Alice. And she was purchased by an English millionaire who called himself Lord Gordain. According to Seven, this ship is where he hid Alice. And you think that he hid her in a small room beyond the library on the bottom deck? Yeah, well, I mean, it is just a theory. Hmm. Junpei, have you ever heard of the term CAS? CAS? It stands for Cells Alive System. It is an advanced technology for freezing and preserving organic matter. Put simply, it is a technique that allows one to freeze things without the formation of ice crystals. Normally, if you freeze something fresh, water within its cells expands as it crystallizes, damaging the cell membrane. CAS, however, works differently. The object to be frozen is supercooled using magnetic fields and then frozen instantly and uniformly, giving ice crystals no time to form. It was originally developed for the preservation of food as an alternative to the normal freezing process. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. What do you mean, other things? Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. Space travel? Are you serious? Surely you've heard of suspended animation, cryogenic freezing. It's a fairly common idea in science fiction books and films. People are sometimes frozen for especially lengthy journeys through space. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there. Are you saying that Alice is frozen using that CAS thing? Well, I'm sure the possibility is quite low, but it is a possibility. If this special ice you call Ice-9 does indeed exist, and if CAS were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously... You think she could be alive? Well, I can't say for sure, of course. I'm only talking about possibilities. The melting point for Ice-9 is 96 degrees, right? If she were put somewhere where she could reach that temperature... That's nuts. Are you really saying that she could have defrosted and started walking about? You're quite right. It does sound unbelievable. But if she had, then we would have an explanation for the man we found dead on the floor. You mean the guy dressed like a captain? Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. But if he was murdered, then by whom? 
It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. In order to enter the captain's quarters, one must first open door one. That door that requires the earth key prevented us from accessing door one. Who was it that opened that door? Santa and Lotus. Right. Clearly the two of them could not have opened door one, or any other door for that matter. Who else then could have done so? Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the earth key, they turned back and met up with me in June. Then we returned to the large hospital room and found Ace, Seven, and Clover. While we'd gone into the shower room, Ace, Seven, and Clover had stayed behind. But it's impossible for those three to open door one. Hmm. But what about when June and I took the elevator to door two? No, still won't work. We were gone only five minutes. No human being could have run to the captain's quarters, killed that guy in there, and run back that fast. It would be impossible for any of us to be the murderer. That being the case, who could have killed him? Wouldn't it make sense if his killer was someone who had been in the ship for some time? A person like that would know the ship well. They would know the locations of all the hidden passages and secret doors. The numbered door would be nothing to someone like that. It would be a simple thing for them to enter the captain's quarters. Then you're saying the killer was Alice? Well, this is all only one possible theory. All ice. Alice. Is she really somewhere on the ship? Maybe this card will give me access to the Forest of Knowledge. And the big mystery, what could be there beyond the Forest of Knowledge? Anyway, whatever. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything like right now. I'll have to come back to this later. Okay, now we'll do the monitor. This is actually very convenient that they yeah, tell you exactly where. <laughs> Zero, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. I mean, maybe we'll get a new Clover what conversation. Here. Okay, yeah. Let's see. There's no way that's him. Then I tell you, Zero's one of us. Okay, well, if he was, there was no way that man could be Zero. Don't you get it? The you letters. see the hat? Zero okay. on the screen. The captain's clothes he's got on. Of course, the bracelet with a zero on it. It's too obvious. Look, look, this is zero right here. Does that body zero? Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that. No, that's not the point. I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work, which makes me wonder, why did they do it? I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was Zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking about with a Zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it. Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything Zero was supposed to be. Just like we did. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Too bad, suckers. This isn't Zero. Where's the real me then? See if you can catch me! It's the same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. That's really twisted, but almost seems kind of childish. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. Alright, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? How would I know that? Why do you look so dumb? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is? Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? We gotta flip him over. How else are we gonna search his pockets? Okay, fine. Guess I'll do it. Here we go. Huh? Hey, it's the... Well, oh, man, we know how the, the Gears died. <laughs> oh God, this man—he's dead, is? It? Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> huh? He's dead? No, it's just—I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. If his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. Really? Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Yeah, I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. He looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. You know? I mean, if there wasn't all this blood, he'd almost look like he was still alive. I mean, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know? Dying from a bomb going off inside you? I mean, that's just... Some of Snake's bones went right through Why would you say that? Uh, sorry, I think the explosion must have thrown him against the wall. And why he would you... Why are you describing... into bones. There's a broken bone sticking out, and... What did you say? Oh, wait. 
Go back. Yeah, hold on a second. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. Yes. Okay. Some of Stink's bones, yeah. And then she was glaring at him. What did you just say? Cool. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I really don't know what I was thinking. I mean... No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? Arm? Yes, his left arm. You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but... I mean, didn't you see it too? Of course not. I could barely look at him. There was no way I was going to see the details. Are you sure it was his left arm? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. And he had a broken bone, right? What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me. Yeah, he did. It was pretty bad, too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. Clover? What's wrong? Look, I'm sorry if I said anything. Thank you. Huh? Uh, what, what are you... Thank you so much, Junpei. That's right. Hey, what's going on with you? I'm sorry, it's just... I'm so happy. Why? The body in the shower, it, it isn't his. It, it isn't my brother. Huh? It's not Snake. Why on earth would you think that? Because his left arm is... I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. But... He's still alive. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Junpei, you were right. The bookmark. No matter how the book you can mark. never lose hope. Oh, not axe. You have to remember what's important, to, and that's to have faith and, and to, to have, have axe. axe. <laughs> no, 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 love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, love, whatever. Yeah, yeah. If you can remember all those things, they'll bring you good luck. Axe. <laughs> good luck. That's. I only made it here because you gave me this. I was suspicious of everybody and I was angry and miserable, but because I had this four leaf clover. Because of what you said to me, I... Yeah. Thank you so much, Junpei. If you really want to thank somebody, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? That because he watches sucks. everyone and gives them good gifts. Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf, I got that from him, too. So you're not original? No, I never claimed to be. Huh? The real lack of music in this game is... <laughs> See, I actually like it because it, it it's very, like... Unsettling. Kind of, kind of unsettling, yeah. Mm, okay. Did, did Santa really tell you those things? Yeah, he did. Did I say something wrong? Oh, no, not at all. In fact, this could be really good news, I think. You think? Santa knew about the words in the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Subjects? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago with my brother and me. But he's blind. And I was part of the Nevada test group. So neither of us would have been able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You gotta start with one, move to two and three and four and so on. How about you catch up? You don't up, tell me stuff in the right order. I'm never gonna be able to figure it out. You gotta tell one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about the morphogenic fields? Genetic morphogenic fields. fields. Uh, Lotus mentioned it. Lotus, yeah. yes. Yep. Hmm, the telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So, so they were testing telepathy on this ship? Yeah, I guess so. So what exactly do they have you guys do? The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The nonary game. Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada, and the game started. Look, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. What do the nonary game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. You know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem and the answer just kind of pops in your head? That's an epiphany. And when uh, what you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy, when you add danger to that equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So you're saying the nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger? Yeah, but it couldn't just be be any ju uh, just any old danger. It had to be life and death, and and someone did actually die, a girl. 
She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Her name was, um... Get out of here, <laughs> old Oh, my man. apologies. My anus is Ace, what the you fuck? You two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for oh so long. Oh, my God. <laughs> At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? What do you I'm want? I'm just having a little trouble shitting. Can we only take a moment? I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Uh, hey, wait. Junpei, what are you doing in there? Hurry up. Oh my god. My butt is ready. Okay. Uh, so now go down. <laughs> now it's unlocked. Yeah, it's unlocked. Okay. Wow, and we have so much to do for... Oh, listen. For all this? Don't worry about that for now. Yeah, Let's yeah. go do this one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But that stuff is really important, that too. Is, that is huge. That yeah. is huge. Okay, let's go. Uh, that's the next door. I am... You can skip through this. Piece of paper. Yeah. There's no fast forward button, is there? There isn't, and that's a shame, because... Other... What's wrong? Found a map. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Now, oh, wait. Is... Is Clover gonna have the stuff this time? So let's see. Clover. Huh? What the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? She still Kay. has it. Okay. How's that? What? You got something in your pocket. Oh, okay, yeah? so this is a, a, no a note. A, a no note? Yeah. I found it in the pocket of the guy with the captain's clothes. It says something about the darkness of the sinister hand so this is or something. New. Yeah. What the hell? Let me see it. Uh, No, not right. Hey, Junpei, Clover, what are you two doing? Hurry up! He's getting mad. I'll show it to you later, all right? Come on, we gotta hurry. Okay, my okay. This is this is the ending where sh she doesn't kill Junpei. But and look at that pocket. It doesn't look like a note. Jeez, what are you thinking? For crying out loud. Yeah. Okay. I he also it. doesn't mention that stick. That's that. Yes. Hmm. Okay. What's going on here? The big stairs. Okay, just like it says on the map. A steady head head down. There he is. Look, the uh, four others are there too. Let's go join them. And then. Jumpy Clover. Oh my goodness, we found it. Found okay, what? door nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Door nine. Okay. What? Follow us. Get away from me. Jumpy, we made it. We reached the end. Okay, but something's, something's bothering, bothering me. me. Seven of us are in our way. Yeah, okay. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. okay. 4.30, we got some time, yeah, left, left, okay. But usually when that blue stuff is there, that's him, like, thinking, thinking of something. Yeah, remember yeah. It or whatever. But I remember that one from last time. I was like, yeah, I don't it. think it's going to be too new. Yeah. Oh, they're not even going to... She's, Clover doesn't suggest door two. They're just going. Yeah, Clover at this point is, like, on your side in, mm -hmm, this, in mm -hmm. this path. Okay, there ain't much to explain. They, oh, they took us there. I don't know, shit, whatever. And <laughs> after that, there's like a door or something. We yeah. went that way and then blah, 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 blah. We opened it and it kept going and there was another thing. We did all these stupid escape rooms. Yeah. I'm never doing another they escape room for the rest of my fucking life. So fucking irritating. We get to see the lap. Yeah, and we got some cardio in. I got my steps so where's in. Where's door nine? Over here, follow me. Okay, what was the point of that? Like just telling you what By happened. Way. To be fair, because if this was, you could get this, I think, on your first run. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. You know, it's because of Santa that we're all here right now. Then all seven of us are going to door nine. You don't get it? Santa, seven, and Lotus. What's their digital route? Nine. It's nine. That's right. They could have just left me behind and kept going if they wanted to, but they didn't. It's because Santa wouldn't let them. He said, we can't leave June and the others behind. That's why we went looking for you guys. And then you got on the elevator and went back to the central staircase. That's right. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't have called that one. That Santa would be the one to stick up for you, I mean. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that Seven and Lotus said they wanted to leave me behind. Uh, we were talking, just talking about it. Uh, Santa objected to it first. Is that so? We're here. So is this? Yeah. There's no other place for us to go? Nope. Just look around. There's a big old iron wall at the end. The other hallways are blocked by metal grates. Okay. And actually, yeah, we're in this room now with a different group of people. Yeah, that's right. No way. The nine door. We're finally here. No doubt about it. This is the not door nine. Because <laughs> if you recall, we were here with uh, A Santa June. Yeah. Last time. Finally, this is the last... Junpei, look behind you. Behind? What? 
Why? Oh no, there's the door? another door. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, there's a door. Of course it won't open. But why? Why the hell are there two doors? Do you think perhaps one is the right door and the other is the wrong one? I don't know about that. That seems unlikely. What makes you say so? Well, think about all the rooms that we've been through so far. They're full of puzzles, but there are always hints about how to solve them. I'm pretty sure there aren't any rooms where we just had to go with our best guess and leave it to instinct to solve the puzzle. Oh, whoops. Something, something, throw it down to luck entirely. And you're saying there's some sort of hint in this room? No, I don't think there's a hint anywhere in here. I searched it very well when I was in here before. I didn't find anything that might have been a hint, though. <laughs> well, then that means... Yeah, both of these are the right door. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. Okay, it yeah, in. A, yep, yep, found yep. the door. Okay. Oh man, so we could have split it up, right? That's not gonna work. You got a notebook and a pen, right? Can I borrow them? Yeah, here. Look at this. God, you're fast. You get it? The numbers on the top are all the combinations with digital roots of nine. The numbers on the bottom are the people who don't fit. There's only eight possibilities. If we split into group, two groups of three or four people, so... If three people go through the door, then four are left behind. If four go through, then three are left behind, right? Yeah. No way. Uh, Everyone's uh, just like... Uh, uh, Come to think of it. <laughs> What is this room? It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony, but what kind? Is that an altar? A coffin. No, oh, it couldn't possibly be. Okay, I give up, I give up. I figured if we sat around here long enough, someone would volunteer, but... I guess nobody's got the guts to do it. What are you talking about? What, you guys didn't figure it out yet? Ugh, fine, fine, let me enlighten you. Clover was mostly right with her little explanation earlier, but she missed something. She wasn't really wrong, she just... Ah, screw it, let me just write it out. If you're trying to leave with a group of three and a group of four and get everybody out, Clover's right. But there's another way. Only one combination, though. If you split us up into groups of three, three, and one, you can make this combination. Wait, this means... Don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to copy Ace or anything like that. Even if he hadn't been the hero back in the big hospital room, I'd still be saying the same thing. S same thing? Are you saying... Yeah, I am. I'll stay behind. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you acting so heroic all of a sudden? Are you, are you some kind of idiot? I'm completely against this. I'll be goddamn if I'm going to have to owe you for getting my getting out of here. I'm against it too. I didn't want to leave Ace behind and I don't want to leave you behind either. I don't like that idea. There's got to be other options. I disagree as well. I can't say I care much for you being the hero. Well, there you go, Seven. Proposal denied. Clover's right. There's got to be a better way than this. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Well, hold on a minute. I haven't said anything yet. Are you agreeing? You want to leave him here? Nah, I'm against it. I don't want to leave Seven here alone. Then I don't see how it matters. I said alone. Huh? I said I don't want to leave Seven alone. What? What, you don't get it? I can't leave just one person. I need two more. Three people, including Seven. I'll be leaving behind three people. That's my proposal. No, those are my orders. What do you mean, orders? What the hell makes you think you can order us around? Who else is going to listen to you? You all will. In three seconds, you won't have a choice. What? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh. Oh, he... See? I told you. What? Why? What the hell is that? The gun's from the other room. What room? One of the rooms behind door six. I should have known he was gonna do this. I should have taken the gun. <laughs> well, it's too late now, fat ass. Damn it.
Now, time for you to start following my orders. Ace Lotus, congratulations. I've chosen you to come with me. Put your hands on the red. Hey, you deaf? I gave you an order. Right, fine. I didn't want to waste any bullets, but you guys just don't get it. You really shot it? But why? Santa, why are you... Santa, I thought... I thought you were one of us. I thought we were friends. What? You knew about the leaf words and the four-leaf clover. What the hell is that shit? I've got no idea. You're lying. Shut up! Just shut up, you stupid bitch! You want me to put a bullet in your fucking head? Santa... All right, assholes. What are you still standing there for? Get over here and scan those bracelets. I don't have all day. No, oh, what's the matter? You hearing starting to go? Going senile, maybe? Uh, uh. That's it. It's the only way. Please. Go. Huh? No way. Jumpy, what are you saying? If you stay here, you're gonna be stuck, Jumpy. And so will Clover and Seven. I know. But you don't need to worry about us. We'll figure something out. Right, Seven? Right. You just leave it to us. It's gonna be piss me off to do what Santa says, but... Don't worry about me either. There's still something I have to take care of. No, no, you can't. Ace, Lotus, don't come over. Don't worry about me, please. Red Rover, Red Rover, don't please. come over. <laughs> I don't believe that's how the game works. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to come over. It's Red Rover. <laughs> no. All right, Red Rover, Red Rover, I'll come over. Fine, Red Rover, Red Rover, I'll come right over. All right, now let's get those hands on the scanner panel. It's the hold up. What, you think I'm fucking around here? I don't give a shit about this girl. The red doesn't need a person, you know. All I need is the bracelet. You get it? Good, now put your fucking hands on the scanner. I'm not gonna say it again. Fine. Good job. Now, Lotus, pull that lever. As soon as the door opens, you get your ass in there. Try anything stupid and you know what happens, right? <laughs> Good. Go. This is also like, all right, guys, you found <laughs> it. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Later. You guys want to play 20 questions or... <laughs> June. So, what do you want to do, Junpei? What do you mean, what do I want to do? What can we do? What the hell is that? Shh, quiet! Where, where is it coming from? Could it be? Hey, I think it's coming from this coffin. You're right. Let's open it. But how? What are those muscles for? For show? Oh well, yeah, the gun show. You tell me to force it open? Just shut up and try. <laughs> Damn it. Man, it won't even budge. Not another one. Yeah, looks like it. Do you think we have oh, do you think we have to put in the right password or it won't open? I think so. Whoever or whatever's inside this thing wants out and now. I know that. But how Without a passcode, I don't think there's much we can do. Isn't there a hint somewhere? Well, let's look for one. There's nothing here. Not making this easy, are they? What's the passcode? What am I supposed to do? How can we figure it out? 
I need something. So that, unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Oh, is this like the opening or something? <laughs> yeah, it's back to the opening. Okay. So we got, let's go ahead and save. The coffin ending. Okay. Okay. All right. Tomorrow, we'll go for another ending to be continued. <laughs>